your turtles are coming to Lego with these all new Lego sets and today we're going to have a look at the sets and I'm going to give my honest opinions on them if they're good sets but honestly guys I'm going to give you my final thoughts and the truth that is going on with all these sets and why I'm a bit disappointed with Lego Marvel and the direction that they've taken with these sets personally so welcome back to Lego Actors as we analyse and look at the new Lego Eternal sets. Welcome back to LEGO Access guys, we have uploaded two days in a row and we are looking at the new LEGO Eternal sets. Now, just looking at these sets in a whole, they don't seem like bad sets, they seem like good sets and they seem like they are worth it for money. We have got from Yahoo, Yahoo Entertainment, we finally get to see more stuff on the 2022 LEGO sets. Now, you've got the Eternal Area Assault, that's going to be $9.99, uh, followed by the Deviant Ambush, uh, that's $19.99. And then you've got even more sets that uh, on there as well. So you've got the larger two sets, the Arashim Shadows, which is $59.99. And the biggest uh, will be the Rise of the Domo at a grand $99.99. Now these sets, they look all right. I am going to be honest with you guys. I'm not excited for the Eternals. It looks all right. It looks decent. I'm much more excited for Shang-Chi, Spider-Man, Doctor Strange, for all of those films that are coming out next year. And that's why I'm going to just be telling you guys my honest opinion. I think this is a bit of a disappointment. Four sets for LEGO Marvel Tunnels. We're getting two sets for LEGO Spider-Man. We've got two sets for LEGO Shang-Chi, I think. And we've only got one or two sets for LEGO black widow now i think that's really weird that you're going to put most of the sets into the eternals whereas you could have put in more stuff to films that probably would do better like spider-man like black widow like oh i'm um, like shang chi i think is a better it looks to be a better film than the eternals and saying that they could have made i know they've done the whole minifigure packs around the disney plus shows but it would have been much, much, much cooler if we could have had maybe only two LEGO Eternal sets, maybe the two more expensive ones, and had a LEGO Loki set, a LEGO Wonder Vision set, a LEGO uh, Captain America, the, the Falcon and Winter Soldier set. Those sets, to me, would have been much more... Like, I would have much more wanted them than the LEGO Eternal sets. Obviously, I've not seen the film... From the trailers it looks like an all right film i'm just going to be honest i'm not too excited for the film i think that it's going to be one of those new films that maybe won't hit it on the head but will like grow with time and be really really good i really hope it does look good but let's look at these lego sets then now all the lego sets look really really cool i personally think that they have actually done really really well with them but they are you know kind of the same sort of style that we've seen in a lot of LEGO sets. I understand that it's LEGO is just themed for the different Marvel things. I do like the sets. I think that they're a great value for money. I think that they probably captured some great points from the Eternals movie. I'm just a bit disappointed with why they've done these sets. Why they decided to release so many LEGO Eternal sets. And I personally wish they had done other sets instead of these sets. So... The truth is, with the LEGO Marvel stuff, I don't really want so many LEGO Eternal sets. I really just want some sets from all the stuff. I know they're major films, and I know you've been licensed to do them, but I don't understand why you have to do so many for the particular things. Like, you're doing lots of LEGO, uh, going back through LEGO uh, Endgame stuff, all these other stuff, uh, like a LEGO Venom Crawler and all this stuff. Um, you've got a LEGO... Black Widow Helicopter Chase, that's a re relatively small set. And you've got all these other sets that are very scaled down and you come out and you do like a, ma a mad amount of sets for LEGO The Eternals. I just don't see it as making much sense from a LEGO point of view to do that many sets for one film. And let's face it, it's probably not going to be as popular as any of the other ones I've talked about. Like the Spider-Man at the Sanctum Workshop, that makes complete sense to me. And all these other sets do as well. So when looking at this, I don't really understand why they've done it. Like, I know that they want to make lots of Lego Marvel, the Eternal sets, but I personally think releasing them for different 
movies or saving them to do stuff or like literally I wanted them to do more stuff than the Disney Plus show and my main issue with Lego Marvel is all relatively scaled down anyway so the Shang-Chi sets are relatively small sets just inflated prices because it was obviously Lego Marvel but I really hope that we get some Lego Disney Plus sets rather than just the characters the characters look really really cool I really like them I did a video on it I'll put a link in this video to it but yeah I really just want other sets as well so I do like these Lego Eternal sets but I think they're very very there's too many of them they may be a little bit too basic and I don't think that I really wanted Lego Eternal sets I think I probably wanted more other stuff as well let me know what you guys think in the comments you guys for watching another Lego Access video basically I just don't really think that these Lego Eternal sets are quite there uh, for me if I, was, I don't think I'm ever going to get any of these sets really and I think they could have been put into much more bigger projects for Lego in Lego Marvel so let me go know what you guys think in the comments so thank you for watching another Lego Access video we're currently on the road to a thousand subscribers we're around 60 subscribers off on filming of this video so thank you guys for watching make sure to subscribe and like and i'll see you in the next one peace